Miss Kwan, please, let me make the team first. Then I'll give you my autograph. How about you give me your English assignment instead? My assignment, right. I want to talk to you about that. Jimmy, I already gave you an extension. You did read chapter eight for today, right? Of course. I I'm totally on top of the reading. It's just the actual work. Jimmy, you're falling seriously behind. I'm concerned you're not up to juggling both academics and sports. Ah, uh, but juggling is a sport, Miss Kwan. There's nothing to worry about. I'm fine. Ashley, the bell's gonna ring any second. Where is she? Well, there's a... There's a little joke at the end. I think you'll like it. What I'd really like is for you to be on time, okay? Good morning, Degrassi. Tomorrow, morning announcements will be replaced by a very special afternoon pregame screening as the Degrassi Panthers face off against Earl Grey in an exhibition match. So go, Panthers, go. She's pretty suave. Got it together. It's not suave, it's suave. Television is so stressful. Ashley doesn't seem stressed. I know. She's like better than the people in the news. Calm, cool, a total natural. So if you see the Earl Grey team holding lighters, it's because they always lose their matches. Have a great day, guys. Lose their matches. Not bad. That's my joke. I mean, I wrote it after I found it on the net. It's true, you know. You do all the work and Ashley takes all the glory. You should really talk to her. Or quit. Why spend more time in school than you already have to? You're going out for basketball. My social worker says it's beneficial. Personally, I couldn't give a rat- Class, sorry for the delay. It just makes me mad that people think Ashley's so funny and clever when all she's doing is reading my words. Yeah, a monkey could do that. Personally, I'd say it's time you ask Princess Ashley to share the air. But hey, it's your career. All right, today we'll be uh, exploring the fascinating world of HTML. I've been reading your assignments. Well, those that have been handed in. Your thoughts on chapter eight have been fascinating. So let's open it up for discussion. Jimmy? Oh, uh, chapter eight? It's great, just like the rest of the book. Could you elaborate? For example, which character do you relate to? Well, that's, that's a very interesting question, Miss Kwana. Jimmy, it's not that hard. Okay, um, I associate most with uh, the main character. It's an ensemble piece. Which main character? The Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Who else? The Lord of the Flies is a severed pig's head resting on a stake. You haven't read the book, have you? Busted. Total crash and burn. I'm doomed, man. Come on. Miss Kwan can't stop you from playing. She's an English teacher. My English teacher, who's threatening to talk to my coach, who needs to cut three players. Jimmy, you're a total natural. Coach Armstrong's not going to cut you. Just try harder at school. School. That's my problem. It's totally in the way. I concentrate on English, my playing is crap. I concentrate on basketball, and I don't have enough time to do my homework. It's a no-win situation. Got that right. It's a catch 42. Catch 22. Like you know, you thought you were Lord of the Flies. And now I've got Quan on my back. I'm back, man. Yeah, I know the feeling. Since they upped my Ritalin, I'm like a complete zombie. Yeah, but I've seen you when you don't take them. Not pretty. Yeah, I know. Don't call me Spinner for nothing. Ashley, can I talk to you for a second? Now? Um, Tara, save me a spot, okay? Sure. How can I help you, Liberty? I want to read the announcements. What? I do all the writing. It's only fair if I get to go on air once in a while. Liberty, you're a writer. I'm a performer. You're yin, I'm yang. We're very different. Ha. Just maybe next year, okay? Uh, 
Remember, follow through with the wrist, okay? Nice shot, Sean. Now you see how he uses his legs and not his hands? It's very important. Jimmy, why don't you give it a go? Or you can keep reading if you want to. Sorry, coach. Excellent technique, Jimmy. But we're practicing our shots, not our layups. Trust me tomorrow. Give it another try. And remember, Madame Paget, I've been told I have a perfect Parisian accent. I just want to do it once. Liberty, when I said no the last time, what didn't you understand? Give me a chance. Come on. Why not? Because it's my job. Fine. I'm going on strike. No more research, no more writing, no more jokes. I figure you can do it yourself. It takes about, oh, an hour a day, if you're fast. Liberty, you're not playing fair. I'm not playing fair. You're the one being greedy. It's just, I'm good at this. Anyone can read a cue card. A monkey could do your job. Fine. Go ahead. Tomorrow's pregame announcements, they're all yours. Knock yourself out. Jimmy, what's up, buddy? Hey, Sean. Good work out there today. You have no problems making the team. I don't know about that. Guess we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Don't know about that. Whatever. Coach loves him. Sean probably made the team the minute he signed up. Jimmy, Sean's a good player. Yeah, so am I. And who's saying you're not? Coach Armstrong. You saw him just now. Tore my game apart. He was just giving you pointers. Hello, I know how to shoot a basket. And sorry, but layups, way more important than three-pointers. Look, if you don't make the team, which you will, you could be my co-manager. Thanks, but it's not the same. Right. Not much glory handing out towels and bottles of water. <laughs> anyway, let's go catch a movie or something. Get your mind off this. Can't. Pull in an all-nighter. Got that assignment, remember? Wish there was a pill I could take. One that would boost me up. Ritalin would boost you up big time. It's like 50 cups of coffee. I thought it was supposed to calm people down. It does calm me down. Has something to do with the configuration of my brain. You have a brain? Ha ha. But for normal people, exact opposite. It's like speed. Weird. Yeah, but you know, son, drugs aren't the answer. Just say no. Pardon me? Uh, you asked who I related to in Lord of the Flies. It was Ralph. It was Ralph. I'm wiped. Got nothing left for the game. Man, you got your English assignment done. Miss Kwan will get it off your back now. Doesn't help if I don't make the team. You could help me, Spinner. No way. It's not like steroids. I mean, it's not illegal. Of course it's not illegal. You see me in jail? OK, guys. Let's discuss the next chapter. Please. I need it. Goldie Look at me. I'm half alive. In this chapter, Jimmy, more clearly than it's my last noise. pill. I can't miss it. Remember, Just this sure. once. A little energy boost. This game's my last chance to prove myself to Armstrong. Please. Do I take it now? I guess. It takes about an hour to kick in. Yes, Jimmy? Ah, uh, I need to use the washroom. 
Did anyone take note of the shape of the island being mentioned once before? The boat shape. Jimmy! Good luck this afternoon with the game. Th thanks, Mr. Radish. Go get him, son. What happened to Ashley? Liberty, we're on. What's going on? She's doing a great job. This is just sad. <laughs> um, welcome to Degrassi's special pregame announcement. Today, the Degrassi Panthers start a whole new reason season of of basket ball basketball uh, by biting Earl Grey. Uh, <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide, Earl Gray. Gray. The, the prowl is on the panthers. The, the panthers <laughs> are on the prowl. This has been Liberty Van Zandt filling in for Ashley Kerwin. <laughs> More like loser Van Zandt. Good job, Ash. I'm impressed. You totally set her up. Somebody had a nutritious breakfast. Yup, toast, cheese, eggs, bacon, solid protein, love protein, brain food, man, brain food. All right, how you guys doing, you pumped? Yeah. Huh? You know it, coach, you know it. Come on, Jimmy, show them what you got. Come on, start this game, come on. What's wrong with all you, come on. Not bad for your first time. Wanna head over to the gym? That's her. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. Liberty! Go Jimmy, you the man! Yeah! Come on, go Jimmy, go Jimmy, go, go, go Jimmy! Yeah, come on, get past her! Come on, come on! Come on. Gavin, the team manager, not the head cheerleader. Come on, coach. I was just giving Jimmy some moral support. Moral support. You want to show your support? Clean up this bench. Here, bring it in, guys. Good job. Good job. Halftime conference, locker room. Let's go. Good job, guys. Jimmy. Halftime, 22 to 24, Degrassi. Liberty? I know you're in here. Liberty, come on. What do you want? I just want to talk to you. Why, to tell me I was horrible? Thanks, I already figured it out. You weren't great, but you weren't completely horrible. I wasn't? No, you just need a few pointers. I've got a plan. Trust me on this. Listen up. We're in the lead. Stay with your man. Keep up the pace. Play like a team. You hear me, Jimmy? Loud and clear, Coach A. Loud and clear. Yo, you 
Degrassi, who needs some halftime entertainment. Yeah, I hear you, brothers and sisters. What were you thinking? I don't know. It was funny. Funny? It wasn't funny. It made us look like idiots. But, Mr. Riley, sit said down. That... First, no extracurricular activities until the end of the semester. What? But, Mr. No Riley. Discussions. Consider yourself lucky. I could suspend you for this. But, sir, it's, it's medical. Gavin. You've been taking Ritalin for two years now. You know what happens when you miss a pill. Unless there's some other explanation. I, I forgot, okay? Fine. You won't forget again. Because you'll be taking your pills in front of my secretary. What, but Mr. Rad? Three times a day. Mrs. Smith? Come in here, please. And would you bring Mr. Mason's file? for the weak of heart. Like you'd know. And besides, that doesn't mean you get to injure people. Oh, no. Way to go, Degrassi. Our team just kicked some serious Earl Grey butt. With an Liberty said butt? Finish. Just before the buzzer, we scored an awesome three-pointer, winning the game 39 to 37. She's actually doing OK. only the beginning. Panthers, you're off to a sensational start. This is Liberty Van Zandt wrapping up today's special video coverage. Thank you. See, it's not so hard. The trick is to remain calm, cool, and sure of yourself. You're pretty good at that already. Thank you, Ashley. And you'll be even better when you read the announcements again, next year, after I graduate. Yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. That was such a... Yo, good game, good game. Yeah. Uh, good game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, can I talk to you for a second? It's about this afternoon out on the court. I know. 12 points plus the game point. It's the best I've ever played. In terms of scoring, yes. But you showboated. You ball hogged. You blew plays. You weren't a team player. I know. But you know what worries me? It's what you did to Sean. You know, you almost broke his ankle out there. That was an accident. Accident? Come on, Jimmy. You fouled your own player deliberately. And you know we have a zero-tolerance policy for violence. It was stupid. It'll never happen again. I promise. I can't take that chance. Sorry, Jimmy. You're cut. Gave it to my mom on the first anniversary. She left it for me 
after she died. Carrie, it's beautiful. It's your mom, she's so pretty. My dad called her his movie star. I know, that's pretty cheesy. No, it's sweet. He looks just like her, you know. Shh, quiet down. Remember, our Lord of the Flies test is in two days. So let's use this time in class to catch up with any reading you haven't done. So what did your mom think of your dad moving back? I'm not sure. They don't get along? No, they get along fine, but yesterday after my dad dropped me off, she was acting pretty weird. How? I don't know, she just seemed dense or something. And then she and Jeff had this fight. Ashley. So your dad's still coming to media immersion this afternoon, right? Yep. You're not gonna believe some of the stuff he's done covering wars for the news. Wow. Okay, so all you have to do is highlight this here, uh -huh. and then click the hyperlink button, and you're done. Good. Have you finished your haiku for Miss Kwan yet? Her class is in like 10 minutes. Have you? Ancient waves so pure, lapping on the shores of time, early death our fault. That's happy. That's about our polluted oceans. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, check this out. Okay. So who's the aeronautics genius? Liberty, this is yours. Yes, and I apologize profusely. Well, don't let it happen again. with Liberty, she was acting like totally weird. She is weird. Yeah, but why would Liberty, who's never missed a day of school in her life, put her neck on the line? And for you. Hello, Liberty has a major crush on JT. What? Come on, it's so obvious. I took it when Mr. Simpson wasn't looking. Thanks, you didn't have to. You didn't have to take the blame today in homeroom. Well, you know, you get in trouble so much, someone has to watch your back. That's very sweet of you, Liberty. Oh, and by the way, it's time the grapevine had a seventh grader as student pick of the week, so I pick you. Why? Well, you know, everyone knows you're gonna be famous one day, so I just wanna say I interviewed you first. Cool. So, interview after school? Sure. Okay. JT and Liberty sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Would you shut up? She does not have a crush on me. Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> Poetry is crime. No idea how to rhyme. Stupid waste of time. <laughs> a poem about hating poetry. Since poetry is about putting your feelings into verse, this haiku actually works. Nice job, Sean. Okay, uh, who's next? Liberty. Come on down. Smile like a sunbeam, height subordinate to his heart, makes me lie awake. Liberty. One too many syllables in the second line, but your feelings are definitely shining through. Great work. Well, they uh, stitched me up in a field hospital on the Kosovo border. I uh, still have a piece of shrapnel right here. Uh, but I'm supposed to be talking to you about the role of mass communication in society, not uh, rehashing old war stories. That's OK. Does anyone else have a question for Mr. Kerwin? When the shrapnel hit, did your life, like, flash before your eyes? My life? No, not a bit. But the bomb blast sure did. <sighs> okay, I am so in love. Paige, he's my father. Father Schmother, your dad's hot. In an old man sort of way. I can't believe your mom ever let him go. Let him go? It didn't exactly happen like that. He left us and moved to Europe. There wasn't much my mom could do. 
So why did he leave? <laughs> I don't know. Was there another woman? No, he doesn't even have a girlfriend mm. now. They just didn't get along. Well, now that he's back, maybe your mom and dad will work things out. Get back together. Yeah, I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Take care. Okay, okay, bye. Hey, Ash, need a ride home after school? Meet you out front. Nice meeting you girls. Bye, Bye Mr. Kerwin. Bye, Mr. Kerwin. Toby. Toby, over here. Toby. What are you doing? Avoiding liberty. What about your interview? Did you hear her haiku? She wants me, man. <laughs> Out of here. JT, you were supposed to meet me seven minutes ago. Ah, uh, Liberty, I forgot to tell you. I can't come to the interview tonight. Toby and I have got... dance lessons tonight. Right. Tonight it's, um... Ballroom. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's a joke. <laughs> JD, you are beyond funny. Dance lessons with a boy? Anyway, let's use your humor in the article. But uh, if you ever actually want to take dance lessons, you should look me up. Here we go. Thanks again for talking to our class today, Dad. Have I told you how happy I am you moved back? I'm happy too, Ash. Ashley, can we, uh... Ah. I thought I heard a car. Hey, Albert. Mm -hmm. Wow, you look great. I'm holding a bag of garbage. <laughs> Ash, there's another bag in the garage. Could you get it while your dad and I catch up? Sure. Uh, Dad, we're still on for Sunday, right? Definitely. Great. Right. Soon. Real soon. Well, I can tell. Yeah, the older your dad gets, the handsomer he becomes. Lucky guy. Everyone at school loved him today. <laughs> Everybody always loves him. He's the most charming man on the planet. You still think so? After everything you guys have been through? Of course. You know, your dad and I still care about each other. You know that, Ash. Gee, it uh, almost sounds like you two want to get back together. <laughs> get back together? No. What makes you say that? I don't know. You guys have been acting like there's some big secret lately. I just thought maybe it was something about you two. What, is there something? Ash. He hasn't found some other woman, has he? He's not getting married? No. Well, then what? Is he gay? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Ash, there are things your dad and I should have talked to you about a long time ago. Mom, I was joking. It's not a joke. Your dad is gay. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. How can Ash's dad, like, do it with other guys? Not only that, how does he do it? I don't know, JT. I didn't ask. Women, okay? Real women, not girls, are sexy. But guys, I mean, we have muscles, we smell, we have body hair. You wish. Uh, women can have body hair, too. My Aunt Bettina has this. That's not what I mean. I don't know, JT. Some people are just gay, I guess. So how'd your interview with Liberty go? Don't ask, don't tell. Hey, Ash, can I join you? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. You've been acting weird all day. I found out something about my dad. Hey, Ash, is everything okay? Paige, we're talking. Perfect, because I want to talk about something, too. Paige, I'm really not in the mood. Concerning your dad. 
What about him? Okay, I was thinking. Robert Kirk. Handsome, stylish, charming, successful. Total catch, right? And yet, still single. What's your point? Well, he could still be hung up on your mom, or, and I'm sure this isn't the case, but have you ever wondered if maybe your dad's gay? It would explain a lot. Is this supposed to be a joke? No, uh huh, not. <gasps> <sighs> Just better mind your own business for once, Paige. Uh, what? Uh, my oldest brother's game. Here, I'm just trying to help. God, <laughs> <is> so doomed. <laughs> Don't you think I'm making headway with JT? Wouldn't it be something if we became the new Jimmy and Ashley? Yeah, something. You think I should ask him out? Or is that even okay to do? Sure, if you think he likes you back. You don't think JT likes me? JT's a boy. Who knows what's going on in his head? Okay, that's it. I've stood her up, I've ignored her, I've been very rude to her, and she will not take a hint. Just tell her point blank. You're not interested. Okay, this may sound desperate, but it's a plan. Remember that little talk we had about Ashley's dad and his orientation? Yeah. Well, you know what coming out did to his marriage. What if I came out to Liberty? Uh, um... It'd work. You know it would. <laughs> Ashley. I have to get to class. Uh, I've signed you out the rest of the afternoon. Ash, we need to talk. Please. Liberty, wait up. We need to talk. I couldn't agree more. You first. You'll be the only person who knows what I'm about to tell you. And uh, I'd like to keep it that way, OK? So do you promise you can keep a secret? OK, I promise. Cross your heart and hope to die promise? Yeah. What is it? I'm gay. What? I like boys. Not girls. Gay. Y you're joking. No, I'm not. And I thought you should know since you think we... You thought I had a crush on you? Please, of course I don't. Okay, well, um, great. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. You wanted to tell me something? No, it it's not important. But thanks for letting me know, and uh, it's our little secret. Were you ever planning on telling me? Ash, you were too young to understand. Too young? When you left us, okay, but you guys had five years. Well, we didn't handle it correctly, I admit, but we thought it would be best if we waited till you were older. Guess what, I'm older. And still pretty hard to hear, right? This is gonna sound so selfish and um, incredibly lame, but I had to find myself, Ash. Even if it meant hurting you and your mother. It's nobody's fault, and it's not wrong. It's just the way I am. So why did you even get married? You didn't love Mom. Ash, of course I did. I still do. But I'm not in love with her. I, I tried to make it work. But I just couldn't. And I hate myself for hurting you. But it was the only thing I could do. Honest. I can't believe that worked. 
No, I can't believe you used that excuse. Okay, there she is. It's time to cement the deal. Hey, Liberty Girlfriend. Maybe you should tone it down. Have you, you know, um, been with other men? But mostly just one man, Christopher. Christopher? My partner. He's a great guy. Christopher? Mm-hmm. The blonde guy with the mustache. The guy we went to the zoo with that day when I got that horrible sunburn? Mm-hmm. The guy you said was your friend from work. Dad, we had him over for dinner in our house. Honey. He left us for him. Ash, it's not that simple. We fell in love. I'm sorry, but I just don't know how else to say it. No. Ash. How could you do this to me? You see, this is exactly why I wanted to wait until you were older, so that you would understand. I understand? Yes, and not just hate me. For what, Dad, huh? For knowing that you were gay, or for knowing that all you've ever done is lie to me? Ashley. Liberty, didn't you hear what I said earlier? Loud and clear. And though it came as a shock, I should have seen it coming. Dance lessons and that boy band compilation CD you own. That's my sister's CD. Whatever. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be great, I mean, you can say no, but wouldn't it be great if you came out in the grapevine? What? Well, you know, as part of the interview. To help other kids struggling with the same issue. Liberty, I don't think that's a very good idea. JT, there's nothing to be ashamed Liberty. of. Liberty, I'm not gay, okay? You lied? Yeah, because you just wouldn't take a hint. Am I really that horrible? Liberty, if you didn't like me, you should have just said so. Where were you after lunch? Nowhere. Just leave me alone. Ash, come on, something happened. You want to know what's been happening? My dad came here to tell me that not only is he gay, but he dropped out of my life because of his boyfriend. Is that what you wanted to hear? So I explain it all for you? Ash, come on. I've come to a decision. My dad is cut out of my life for good. Ash, come on. I have my mom, I have Jeff. I even have Toby. I don't need him. Ash, what you found out? Of course you're upset, but you don't mean that. <sighs> don't tell me what I mean, okay? You have no idea what I'm going through. My mom died, Ash. She's never coming back. But you, you have your dad back. Terry, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. You wanna know why? Because you have a choice, I don't. Don't make the wrong one.